Strong and the Restless has been running on CBS for 35 years and continues to be a hugely popular daytime drama. With me today is actor Greg Rickard, who was nominated for a daytime Emmy for his character on the show, the bad boy Kevin Fisher. Welcome, Greg. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me back. I missed Absolutely. You guys. We had to have you back with this new nomination. <laughs> yeah, pretty exciting. Fourth year nominated. Yeah. You won in 05. What's it like? Well, um, I got to tell you, it's pretty great. Yeah. yeah, does it get old for you? No, not at all. Oh, come on. It doesn't. It's, uh, you know, every every night before you kind of have a little trouble going to sleep knowing that the nominations are announced the following morning. And then uh, this year what happened was uh, they were announced they were announced on the East Coast. Uh, they were announced on The View. So here it was like 8 o'clock and I was actually sleeping. And next thing I knew it was like 8.15 and I kind of woke up for a second. I looked at the clock and I said, oh, it's 8.15. I didn't hear anything. I guess, I guess not this year. And and uh, then I kind of put my head back on the pillow, and then suddenly I just heard my phone start vibrating. And, like crazy. And I didn't have to look. I was like, oh, good. No one ever calls me this early. I know what this is about. And then so what did they say? They said, congratulations. <laughs> you and, uh, said, again? Now give like, it to uh, someone yeah, else. I said, no, I'll never say that. <laughs> <laughs> so but, here you are. You're a part of this incredible show that's mm -hmm. received 17 nominations. Yeah. It's, it's the most for any daytime drama, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, 17 uh, was the most for any daytime drama. And CBS, our network, had 56, which is phenomenal. Incredible. The show's been on 35 yeah, years. Yeah. What does it feel like to be a part of like this landmark show that's making history on television? It's a uh, look. It's fantastic. I think um, you know any actor will attest that having a job that you get to go to every day that's a good job and uh, is work that you can be proud of and and. Uh, passionate about is, is fantastic. Sure, and it's pretty interesting because one of your co-stars, a guy that we also love, Christoph St. Christoph John, St. John, is nominated in your same yeah. category. What's that like? Is there a little rivalry there? Uh, yeah, I think, um, you know, I might have to like spike his drink or something the night of the award show and, you know, let him momentarily fall ill or something. But You uh, heard it here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, Christoph is just such a solid actor and, and he's someone who you always know will just be bringing his A-game and, and, I mean, of course you want to win, but if I don't, I certainly want Kristoff to win versus, you know, someone else on another show. Yeah. What's it like to play, I mean, I was I was just reading today about all the crimes you, your character had committed. Alleged oh, crimes. Oh, please, so. give me a break, give me a break. <laughs> What's it like to play somebody that bad, and what do fans say to you because you're such a bad guy? When I first started, I, uh, I was only supposed to be on the show for a couple weeks, uh -huh. and he was, that was when Kevin was at his at his worst, his most evil. And I, you know, as an actor in preparation, I said, okay, well, people don't do bad things for no reason. So what's what's going on here? What's what's going on in this guy's head? And I had made him really sort of damaged and broken from when he was a kid. And it doesn't make it all right. It's not like, hey, if you have a bad childhood, you can do whatever you want. Right. And so you that's gotta an excuse. Love it. But yeah, and I, and I, people, I think, uh, saw that softer side of him, even while he was doing these like heinous heinous things. And. And um, I think that's why he's still around. So uh, all right, well that's, we, yeah. we we keep up the bad work, and Thanks. we'll be rooting for you at the daytime Emmy and Kristoff. So, so maybe you right, know what? Greg. The best thing ever would be a tie. Right? Okay, for first time ever, we're yeah. going to see it, Greg Rickard. Thank you so thank much. You.